On the show tonight, there's only one question on everyone's lips. Are you talking to me? No. <laughs> talking to me? I don't think so, no. <laughs> Actually, don't even bother. <laughs> I'm not talking to any of you because tonight I'm talking to one of the world's greatest actors. Let's start the show! <laughs> What a night, what a show. I never thought I'd be saying the following sentence. Acting legend, star of Deer Hunter, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, Robert De Niro is on this show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Top Hollywood actress, Michelle Pfeiffer is here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Comedy goddess, Jennifer Saunders will be joining us. Not all. We will also, uh, later on, be having Oscar-winning star and musical icon Cher on the show, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Cher! There! I'm there! Cher, Cher! Oh. But listen, just got it. I mean, Robert De Niro, how exciting is that? <laughs> now, uh, he's, of course, well-known for his committed method acting. He gained 60 pounds for his role in Raging Bull, where he played an overweight, out-of-condition boxer. I mean... <laughs> uh, you can see why I got the Oscar, can't you? I mean, just <laughs> phenomenal. Right? Hey, another of Robert's breakthrough roles was as The Godfather Part Two, where he played a young man uh, embarking on a life of crime. Now, you see, that... That is a classic gangster. That's what they look like. Here's what a wannabe gangster looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Daffy. Uh... <laughs> but, of course, uh, one of Robert's most memorable roles was as Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver. Wow. <laughs> uh, now, there he is, De Niro, about to embark on his bloody rampage. Mind you, not the first time I've seen someone in front of a taxi and thought something awful's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and what about Michelle Pfeiffer? Again, a host of great films, What Lies Beneath, Dangerous Liaisons, and, of course, Batman Returns, where she starred as Catwoman. <laughs> mm. I tell you, she looks fantastic, doesn't she? Absolutely fantastic. And it's not easy looking sexy as a cat. No. <laughs> Isn't it? It's nuts. It's nuts. Sit down. Drink that. Drink that. Drink that. Here, Kitty Kitty, it's Michelle Pfeiffer! Oh! Hello, it's so lovely to see you. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, good to have you back now. Michelle Pfeiffer, get there, there. Michelle Pfeiffer, everyone. Woo! And yes, I'm talking to him. It is Mr. Robert De Niro! I know, I am so overexcited. It's like, <laughs> it's like showbiz Christmas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lovely to see you, Jennifer. Thank you. Lovely to see you, Michelle. Thank you. And now, well, it's lovely to see you. <laughs> it's surprising to see you. Uh, <laughs> what do I call... See, if you were British, you'd be, like, Sir Robert De Niro by now. You can call me Bob. Really? <laughs> Bob. That's it. Lord Bob. <laughs> Call me Sir Robert if you yeah, want. Yeah, I'll call you Sir Robert. <laughs> Sir Robert seems better. I think you should I be. I like that. You should be Sir Robert. Can I call you Sir Robert? Sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the campaign starts now. Yeah. The Queen watches this. And, uh, <laughs> I really hope not. Uh, <laughs> did you speak to him out the back? 
Jennifer? I did very briefly. What did you say? I said hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite brief. Yes, it was quite brief. <laughs> By the way, can I just... Uh, a man of surprises. A man of surprises. I did not see you drinking that drink. Well, I... Now is not a, the, the time. <laughs> After. Oh, were you not drinking it? Yeah. I oh, I see. But you asked for it, is my point. No, they asked for it. I didn't ask for it. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Do you what want something it? else? No, what I'm good. It? That's great. What is it? It's a cucumber martini, Hendrix. Oh. <laughs> Did you expect it to look like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look like a cucumber martini to me. <laughs> that just looks like a gin and tonic with some cucumber in you're, it. You're probably right. Yeah. So, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. How's your tea? I haven't tried it. Oh, okay. How's your wine? It's lovely. You haven't drunk that either. <laughs> Listen, Michelle, yourself and uh, Mr. Bob, Lord Bob, uh, are in uh, the family together. Mm -hmm. And is this the first time you've been in films together, but it's the first time you've been on screen together? Yes. Yes, we were in um, Stardust together, and I was so excited to be in a movie with Robert De Niro, and then I realized I actually didn't get to work with Robert De Niro because we had no <laughs> scenes together. Then we did New Year's Eve, and again, I was so excited to be in a movie with him, and once again, had no scenes together. <laughs> so we would meet on the red carpet, hello, nice to see you, you're wonderful in the film. So then I get this script, and I said to my agent, you know what? If I don't have a scene with him, I am not reading this. <laughs> so, um, anyway, we, um, we had some great scenes together. We had fun. And were you meant to be in Raging Bull? Or was that just a story? Yes, actually, I was. No, I wasn't meant to be in Raging Bull. No, I, um, I went... It was one of my first interviews. I was just starting out. I don't know how my agent got me in the room with him, but he did. And I'm surprised he doesn't remember me because I walked in looking like a hooker. <laughs> Was it in L.A. or was it New York? It was in L.A., mm. yeah. <laughs> People who look like hookers. People who look like hookers. <laughs> hookers in white dresses. Mm. Yeah, I thought I had... I, I can't swear on this. I didn't think I had a chance. You can to, swear on this. Can I? Yeah. Oh. What, what word were you going to say? Oh. A shot in hell. Oh, shot okay. in hell? <laughs> <All right. laughs> wow. <laughs> a shot in hell. <laughs> uh, I can only apologize, Sir Bob. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but to the family, it opens on the 22nd of November here. And tell the story, tell the story. <laughs> well, uh, we're on, <laughs> uh, on the witness protection program. Uh, Michelle's my wife and Tommy Lee is our, our handler, if you will, FBI handler. Somehow he's in France. And, he um, shows up. He shows up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that, that's it. So it, we're under the witness protection program in France. Um, now, I know it's not a documentary, but <clears throat> does that happen ever? It seems like an American mob family might look more obvious, obvious. in France. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> this particular family, they're, they're, they're having trouble kind of staying under the radar, and I think they're sort of running out of location. <laughs> I like the way Michelle's thought it through. <laughs> Good reason. Uh, don't, don't worry, don't worry, everyone. The movie is very rude about French people. <laughs> don't worry. I'm not saying anything. Though, and, and, and it's well, a real crowd pleaser. Well, French people get hurt. It doesn't exactly. <laughs> it doesn't exactly show the Americans in no. favorable light. <laughs> no. Either. All right, listen. We have a clip. This is uh, the two of you as the married couple, and you're arguing about how things are going so far in your new life in France. You all right? Nothing much. Just the prospect of packing up again and moving when they find out you killed the plumber. I didn't kill him. I took him to the hospital. Why'd you beat him to a pulp? He's the only plumber within a radius of 20 miles. But he disrespected us and he made you wait on him, honey. Jeez, oh, honey, I survived. And you know, the guy was trying to rip me off. So put yourself in my shoes. Well, I definitely wouldn't have beat him up. I mean, who's gonna fix the pipes now? Well, who's gonna rebuild the supermarket that burned down the day we got here? Huh? Hey, go! 
good. Yeah. This for you, Sir Paul. And um, I don't uh -huh. want to embarrass you, but here you are. You've made close to 100 movies. You're in the 90-something wow. movies now. Uh, you just had a big birthday, mm -hmm. turned 70. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That applause means something. British audiences clap for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> In America, that's standard. Here, that meant a lot. That was, yes. Yeah, <laughs> you'll tell them. Yeah, they don't yeah, clap no, anything. That, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here you are in the family, and you're, you're playing a kind of gangster. What is it about those parts that kind of keeps drawing you back? Well, I mean, they're, they're interesting characters, and if they're written well, it's fun to do them. And with a good director like Luc Besson or Martin Scorsese, of course, Monty's great. You know, we have uh, great times together, and uh, then it's worth it, you know. Or Coppola, you know. So, and I, I heard you know. joking a while ago about your, there's another Scorsese movie coming out with you and is it Al Pacino? N well, we're going to do it with Pacino and Joe Pesci, uh, Marty directing, yes. But that won't. I don't know when it'll actually come out. But we're we are planning on doing that movie. Yeah. Okay. I, this, I, this is going to hang over in the air, so I just need to say it, Michelle. Do you know we've met before? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. No, I just didn't okay. know whether you'd remember. Well, we worked together in a film. Well, no, you were in a film. I was just hanging yeah, around. We had so much fun. <laughs> we had so much fun. No, I did have a nice time. You were wonderful in that movie. Really? Yes. Who's this? It's did you ever see it? I did. You were the only person who saw it. <laughs> <laughs> What did we, it, it was called I Could... I, I Could Never Be Your Woman. Yes. Fabulous. And it was you... <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not making it up. That's funny. That's unbelievable, Wait, isn't it? What was that? That looks like a comic relief sketch. <laughs> what was that? But it's a whole film. That's unbelievable. When, when Michelle was doing scenes with you, did she ever ask you to eat a breath mint? Yeah, she did a couple of... No, I'm kidding. I did not. I did. I did not. You did? You're making that up. It was a very cheap film that spent all the money on Michelle. <laughs> so they needed her in every frame. So if you were talking to her, you had to stand incredibly close to her so her head could be in the shot as well. <laughs> and there was some breath mints offered. That's all I'm saying. Maybe I was just being polite. And I was being very bad. <laughs> So embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> hey, but listen, we're pacing our excitement, such as the show business, not just these three amazing people, but my next guest has sold over 150 million records. She just released her 26th studio album. Please welcome Cher! <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer, <laughs> Jennifer Saunders. Now you come perch your loveliness here. Okay. There you go. Oh. And um, how are you? I'm okay. How are oh, you? Oh, you know something terrible's happened. <laughs> what? Oh, Lord Bob sorry, spilt no, the sorry. tea. <laughs> and... What is everybody having? Well, he's having drink envy, which is why you smacked her tea to the floor. <laughs> He hates, he's having some cucumber thing, he doesn't like it. Okay. Yeah. What are you on? Me? Yeah. What do you mean? What's that? <laughs> uh, that's Dr. What Pepper. Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> Not really. Okay. Uh, listen, you, you've been on the show a few times, we're yep. excited, but tonight, I think it's the first time ever you're singing on the show. I think so. Yes, it's very good. So what are you giving us? I'm going to give you my new song. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> right. Is it called I Hope You Find It? Yes. And is it off your new album, uh, Closer to the Truth? Yes. Now, this is you. It's like some sort of questionnaire. This is like, <laughs> like... I've got the facts. I've got the facts. Obviously, but... you don't. You're asking me. I know. <laughs> it's like you hear from your pretty lips. OK. Uh, but now, I like you tonight. It's classic. I feel we're getting classic share tonight. What do you mean? The classic. It's classic share. Well, you're kind of getting tartan and... Well, there's a bit about punk. There's a punk edge. Yeah. Punk edge, but nice dark hair. And, yeah. 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 Now, is it a mood thing? Do you wake up and decide which share you will be? Are you 
out of your mind tonight? <laughs> I have to say, looking at the sofa, it is like an out-of-body experience. Right. It's, like, it's like a dream I had. Okay. Right. The four of you people are on the couch. But it, it, how do you decide? You know, because there's biker share, there's blonde share, no, there's, there's not. angelic there's share. There's just me, there's just me. It's just, there's just me in different rappers. It's only me, always me. <laughs> just, just plain old me. And now, it's lovely to have you here. It's particularly lovely to have you here because earlier this year, I don't know if you remember this, there was a bit of a scare bit of a rumour went out uh, that you weren't here. Okay. Wait, no, you must have not, you've seen this. It was where a Twitter hashtag went out and people... I was mis dead? Yeah, people okay. misread it. Yes. Do you remember this? Well, no, someone told me. Well, this was the hashtag and it was when Margaret Thatcher died. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so Margaret Thatcher died, but in America, people just said, it like, now that Cher is dead. <laughs> People tweeting. Yes, I got. There was a big Twitter fest. It was <laughs> trending. She's dead. <laughs> and things, and it, this happens a lot with the hashtaggy things. Yes. So, for instance, I don't know if you remember Susan Boyle, Susan, the lovely singer Susan Boyle. She was launching a new album and she was going to have a party, and there was much excitement when uh, she announced her party. <laughs> One. Like, they can't, like, what were they thinking? So there's a very posh event here called the Cheltenham Literary Festival. So the Cheltenham Literary Festival kind of went, yeah, we must... We, well, let's get involved in this whole Twitter thing. Let's be all over it. Yeah, we like <laughs> writers and books and things, but we really need people. So uh, they came up with a, a, a Twitter name for themselves with the Cheltenham Literary Festival. Here it is. <laughs> Sadly, attendance is very low. Funny. No one could find it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go there, don't I you? Know. <laughs> That's real. That is real. Um, so, we spent three years saying a big fond farewell to you as you toured the world. Yes. And now you're going to tour again. Yes. <laughs> is this. Is this the, I'm sorry, I forgot my keys tour? <laughs> no, 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 it's not. It's, uh, it's the, you better do it now, bitch, because you're never going to do it again. <laughs> no, it's that. I've heard you talking about the touring, and you, you love the shows... But, but I hate the road. You hate the road? Yeah. Why do you hate it so much? Because it's lonely, and you never know where you are, and you can't do anything, and you have to save your voice, and... And you, it's, it's no fun. It's very isolating, and it's the only thing that saves it is when you go out on stage and having a good time with everyone, and that is good. But I'm not sure how long I can do it. I won't do it for a long time. But I just realized this time, like, I didn't really want to, but then I thought, if I don't do it this time, I'm not going to be doing it in two years or three years when I meet a cane. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. You know what I mean? I just, I, I, I'm 67 and I'm not going to do it if I don't do it now. Good gas. Very good gas, everyone. Excellent. Now, I think, are we allowed, are we allowed to talk about, because you don't, you're not doing the Vegas residency anymore. No. And I remember I talked to you before, but not on the show, where you were saying how you found those shows quite difficult. Yes. The Vegas shows. Are we allowed to talk about that? Yes, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so the Vegas shows, so you're used to it being, like, you go out on stage and it's a party, it's people just yes, screaming and right. nuts. So you go out on stage in Vegas and... Well, they're not allowed to stand up and they're very, very old. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they've had um, walkers and sometimes they had <laughs> oxygen masks. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh, God. And, I, and I, it took me a long time because I was very angry for a long time. And then finally I thought, you know, this might be the last concert they ever see. <laughs> and, and, and at least they're enjoying it in their own way. And it's not my way. It doesn't make me feel that good. But they're having a wonderful time. So I just have to allow them to have their wonderful time. And if they got too rowdy, then um, ushers would come and sit them down. <laughs> 
even if they had oh, um, oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Because, um, Sir Bob, you've just opened... Is it a hotel you've got in Vegas now? Yes, a noble hotel. Wow! Are you hands-on with all that stuff, or does it just happen? No, I'm there. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not doing day-to-day -day operations, but I'm very much a part of it. And do they say, do you like these curtains, that kind of thing? They can, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I might see, you know, I'm going to be there like in, in a couple of days, and I'm going to stay there, uh, and I'm, I'll say this or that, or this, look at this, or some other space. I, I, I'll have things to say, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you're not a silent partner in this? No. OK. I'm a lot frightened for them now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like ringing ahead. <laughs> He's on his way. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, obviously, everyone loves you, Cher. But, uh, Cher, you are a big fan... Well, I'm sure you're a fan of everyone on the sofa. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually am. Good. I mean, I can say that I don't have to pretend. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, you're, I know you love French and Saunders. Yes. And Jennifer was telling you. And you guys did um, believe in the in the in the which, in the Titanic. Yes, we did that. Oh, I loved it. They were dying we at the end. They were in, both in the water. Yes, that's right. And did oh Dawn go? Dawn died, didn't she? Yes. Are you? She, did, which one no, died? No, Dawn died. Right. <laughs> Do you, I don't know if you know, but uh, right. Jennifer is part of a double, double act, act. Mm -hmm. uh, called French and Saunders, and they would spoof very... Have you ever done... Have you ever done Robert no, De Niro? I don't, no, absolutely not. I haven't. But, but you have done Cher. <laughs> Too good to touch. <laughs> you, have done, you have done Cher. They oh, do, yes. You guys did Sonny and I once. Yeah, well, I've done it quite a lot, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know... I don't know if you've seen this... Is this a bad thing to show Cher? No. <laughs> but we'll see if you're still laughing no, in a minute. I think it's uh, quite... <laughs> Cher is one of my, my greatest heroines, so I think it was a tribute. <laughs> yeah. No, we, I, and, I mean, I love them. I love them. I just wish they'd get back together for one more little oh. series. <laughs> this is... This is uh, French and Saunders' homage uh, to Cher. OK. okay. I have brought together wigs and songs that span the centuries. and you think, I wonder if that person will ever see it. You don't actually imagine you'll be sitting on a sofa with them when they're watching it. That's, that's kind of weird. Uh, well, I've got an early Christmas present for you, Cher, because Jennifer's written a book called Bonkers. Yes. Cool. Have story of your life. But I only want it if she signs it. Well, there's well, a she... picture of you in it. There is? is? This? Yes. OK, oh, cool. Now, oh, now you're happy. Oh, yeah. um, I look myself up in the index as well. Right. Um, Are you in there? Yeah, I am. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> But the thing about writing your life is mm. trying to kind of remember it all. There's a bit... Mm. You actually lost your own baby. Yes, briefly. Um, <laughs> yes, I did. Um, Aid and I were, were living in Richmond at the time, and I had um, three children, I imagine. Oh, so many to keep three, track three, of. Three, three, three. Hard to keep track of. Yes. And um, one morning, Aid got up, and he went, he went and got the girls up, the two bigger girls who you know, toddling around, and he took them down for breakfast, and I was to go and get the baby. And I went upstairs to the baby's room, 
and the cot was empty. And I thought, oh, that's unusual, isn't it? Fair. <laughs> <laughs> and you start to think, yeah, baby should be in that cot. It's <laughs> a bit strange. And um, so I thought, oh, maybe AIDS picked it up and taken it downstairs for breakfast. So I go downstairs for breakfast. The heart's thumping a little bit. You think, this is odd. And um, I go downstairs, and A's feeding the other two, no sign of the baby. <laughs> and at which point I'm thinking, I should ask him, shouldn't I? <laughs> I should actually ask him. Then I think, no, he'll look at me. Like, people looked at Ingrid Bergman in Gaslight. They'll think, you're mad. <laughs> You've never had another baby before. <laughs> You've only got two children, you idiot. <laughs> so I thought, no, I won't ask him. I'll go back upstairs. <laughs> And I went back up to the baby's room, nothing. And I'm seriously thinking, have I actually... Am I gone mad? Have I actually got a baby? And so I went back down to my bedroom and I sat on the bed and as I leant down, I felt this little lump. <laughs> this is awful. Yes, Mum's net is awful. Um, <laughs> yes, I know you shouldn't do that. But <laughs> I was breastfeeding her at night and she'd, she'd kicked herself. I'd fallen asleep, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> from tiredness, and she had kicked herself down to the bottom of the bed and was sort of right under the duvet, <laughs> right down the bottom of the bed. I mean, just fast asleep. Still alive! She's still alive! <laughs> Suffered no damage! Uh -huh. oh. But nightmare. You doubt your own sanity. But, now, in, in the book, what's, you, you don't shy away from anything. Yeah. And, you know, you do talk about your battle with cancer and stuff. And yeah. Was it very hard to kind of get the I don't tone? call it a battle. It, is it not a battle? No. I don't know. That sounds <laughs> well, like I kind of hated I'm... it when, all the, when eventually the press picked up on it and they all go, Brave Jen's battle with cancer. Mm. And you go, it was, it's a process you go through. And I think... the. I try in the book to decatastrophize that whole process so that people see it more as that, more as a... It's, it's a cure you go through when you have cancer, you know, and you try and get better. And then, I mean, not the same thing, but Viva Forever, the Spice Girls musical, yeah. came along. And now the reviews were vitriolic. They were angry. Yeah, they were they angry were, uh, reviews. Very angry reviews. Did, was that water off a dog's back, or did you feel...? Um, no, I was very sad for the show, actually. Um... I mean, everything, you have things that work and things that don't work, you know. And I, I thought it, it kind of worked, but they didn't give it much of a chance, so... I was slightly pissed off, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, it was sad for you was, all, because no, you were all such nice people such involved in it. Nice people involved, exactly. But how was it doing before you got reviewed? It was doing great. That happened to me, too. We were, I did a play called Come Back to the Five and Dime, Jimmy Dean, and we got... We were doing unbelievable business, and we got reviewed, and they were bad reviews, and then... My partner, Jane Rosenthal, we started. Uh, we were involved uh, for years just trying to get it in, uh, to be a film, and then it wound up evolving into being uh, the musical here. And, and uh, now we're doing again, we're doing it in, uh, in the States as a touring company, not on Broadway. Maybe it'll go to Broadway, but now it's just staying, you know, we're touring around the country. And, of course, Michelle, you know, we know you can sing. We've heard you sing. Yeah. Would you ever do a musical or anything like that? No. You look at me with pained expression, like, <laughs> piss off, don't even give an anything. I'm a pretend singer. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, an, I'm an actor who can sing a little bit when I have to. It's different than... Has she been in a music? Yes. Oh, what was she in? When she was young. Well, I, it was... <laughs> must I say it? It was fun. Grease 2. Of course! Oh, yes, Grease 2! Oh, my God, what was I thinking? Of course! You're fabulous yeah. in Grease 2! You just wanted to hear me say it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Fabulous Baker Boys, you sang in Yes, that. I did. Yeah. 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 And, and I ever... sang in Hairspray. And Hairspray, of course. of course. You've done nothing but musicals. Right. <laughs> yeah. Stop doing musicals. <laughs> <laughs> now, the most surprising story, I think, in the book is the call you get from your agent, Jennifer, and mm. she's had a call from a tabloid newspaper. Do you know the story I'm talking about? Yes. <laughs> Well, again, it's... Why well, is another moment when I just doubt my own sanity and my own, my own memory? Share with the group. Big, uh, share with the group. Well, okay. Share. 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 share with the group. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my, agent, my agent called me up one day, and uh, it was quite early on in my career, I think. It was, I wasn't very old. And uh, she said, love, a couple of things. And she went through a couple of things. And then she said, <clears throat> <clears throat> love, <clears throat> um, can I ask you a question? I said, yeah, go ahead. She said... Have you ever, do you think, been in a porn film? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, um, ooh, pardon. I beg your pardon. And she said, it's just the papers have been on to me. And they've seen 
such a film with someone with your name and apparently it looks a bit like you. <laughs> and I was thinking, have I? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> and she said, possibly when you're in Italy, you know, on your gap year. And I thought, oh, yes, that probably happened. <laughs> I was probably drugged <laughs> and, and set upon. <laughs> and they put it in a film. And then I started thinking, no, you're, you're insane. I could not remember. So I actually just, I ventured with no. And she said, fine, all right, I'll get back to them, love. They're probably just fishing, which is what they do. They put out a nice bit of bait into the celebrity swamp and hope that someone feels guilty, says yes, and they have a story. Yeah. But, um, but no, because if, obviously if I was in a porn film, I'd have a proper porn name. Which is everyone's poor name is their their first pet and their mother's maiden name. <laughs> so my my poor name is Suki Dumini. <laughs> Has anyone seen that in a porn film? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, yes. Did someone we, say yes? We, we did do some research, and Jennifer Saunders does exist. No, yeah. I mean, she's not here. Don't worry, you look really worried there. Please, no, God, please, but no, we God. found some of her early work. And I'm not I'm not going to show it to you. Don't worry. But it's in. Have you ever seen her? No, of course I haven't seen her. I think she existed. Yeah, this is her. Hang on. Um, now, don't worry, there isn't much Cheltenham Literary Festival going on. <laughs> but this is her, the girl of the month. That's her. Do, do you want that for your collection? Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is that? Is that is she... No, that's it's, genuine. It's, it's, it's that, is, that is Jennifer Saunders, Saunders who is probably watching with her grandchildren right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's really quite frightening, isn't it? Well, I'd say, if I were you, I would say it was you. <laughs> May Fair Girl of the Month, I would Jennifer just Saunders. definitely say that. Bob's going, uh, we'll do this. <laughs> this is her. This is all Jennifer. <laughs> well, thank you. But she doesn't take her pants off. Sorry? This is very demure. She takes her pants off over the page. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> there she's got a pants off. The four Saunders. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's the French and Saunders there, actually. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> the full French. Um. Put that away, put it on wow. your okay. desk. Thank you very much. Go. I shall take that home with me. And listen, very quickly, before Cher sings, um, uh, we've talked about acting a lot tonight, but Sir Bob, obviously, you know, acting icon. You must know. Right but <laughs> but you, know, you, must, you must get so many young actors coming up to you, kind of like, oh, do you have any advice? Blah, blah, blah. So have you come up with, like, a kernel <laughs> of advice? that you give them just to make them go away? No, I like to give uh, advice when people ask. I, uh, and if it's helpful for them, I, I always uh, am there, you know. What's, what's the key thing you tell them? Well, it depends. Each situation is different. It depends on who it is who's asking me. Um, uh, it could be very personal or it could be something that's a career move or this or that. But I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty good at that, giving okay. advice. Do you think I could ever get back into acting? <laughs> uh, one, one of the few times I would ever say maybe no. <laughs> uh, in your case. He <laughs> obviously didn't see you in Father Ted. Exactly. <laughs> oh, well done. She's on it. Very good. And I suppose the other thing is, obviously, you know, you wanted to be an actor. That was your ambition yeah. to be an actor. You, you didn't set out to be a movie star, but that's, that's happened. So. Does a day go by when people don't shout out, you know, lines from movies and things to you? Or does that happen all the time? No, I, get that. I don't get that that often from people. Sh people shout. are afraid to do that to him. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Do you remember that night we were having dinner? We were having dinner. It was Gay Pride Parade night. Of course. And we were downtown. <laughs> we were having dinner. And so he had his back to the door and I was, you know, facing him. And all these queens came in, all these drag queens, fabulous, came in, and when they saw me, it was like, woo! And they came around the corner, and they saw him, and it was like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, listen, it's been great talking to all of you tonight, but uh, it's now time for music. So, Cher, if you'd like to go and get ready... I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Don't tease us. I'm fucked. Don't tease us. OK. So if you'd like to go and get ready... Were you going to help me go get ready? Yeah, okay. yeah, anything, anything. Okay. OK, you go get ready. You go over there. Cheer. OK. There she goes. Now, in a moment, we'll have some stories in the big red chair. But first, performing, I hope you find it, it is Cher! <laughs> Keeps coming down 
just thought I'd try to call you You got too far out of time And I hope that you get this message That I'm leaving for you Cause I'd hate if you left without hearing the word And I needed you too And I hope you find it What you're looking for I hope it's everything you dreamed your life could be And so much more Singing live, amazing vocal. Thank you yeah. so much Thank for doing you. that. So, so many people don't bother, so thank you very much, and we really appreciate it. Really. <laughs> right, uh, before we go tonight, just time for a story or two in the red chair. So, uh, who be there? Who's there? Hello. Hello. Hi, you're on, you're on. Yeah. Uh, what's your name, sir? Reese. Reese, lovely. And where are you from, Reese? Auckland, New Zealand. He's from Auckland, New Zealand. <laughs> We love a Kiwi. We love a Kiwi. And uh, are you here on holidays? Are you travelling around? Are you sponging off people? Yep, on holiday. <laughs> on holiday. Sponging off people. You're staying with people you don't know very well, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, for months. Uh, OK, Reese. Uh, <laughs> off you go with your story. OK, so about a year ago, my girlfriend uh, went out drinking with her mates and when she drinks, she gets quite horny. I said, what? Yeah, yeah she, she gets quite horny. Yep, yep. And yep. Uh, anyway, I was in bed and she was texting me everything about what she was going to do when she got home. So I thought, oh, I was half asleep. So I thought I'd ring her. I got on the phone. I said, hey, babe. And I started saying all this dirty stuff. And then I got a Reese and I said, yeah, this is Reese. She goes, do you know who this is? I said, yeah, you're my girlfriend. I looked at the phone and went, oh, put the phone back on. She goes, this is your mother. <laughs> Okay. 
We used to look, he'd got like, he'd get a bit overexcited telling that story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, 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 do we have time for one more? Yes. Yes, we do. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, nice lady. What's your name? Uh, my name's Amanda. Amanda? Yeah, Amanda. No A at the front. Oh, just, just, just Amanda. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> now, when you drink, do you get horny? Uh... <laughs> Uh, no comment. <laughs> okay. Did you once date someone called Reese? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. No. Where, where are you from? Uh, Dunedin in New Zealand. <laughs> oh, sorry, are there coach trips coming from New Zealand <laughs> to the show? We love England. Oh, that's very. And we love you. That's very nice. And are you on holidays or working here? Ah, uh, no, I'm working. I've just moved here. Oh, what are you working at? Uh, so I do like events, casual events, sort of thing. It's like serve people. She food. does events. <laughs> Kids will events. Kids will events, you know. Uh, she's very good at them. <laughs> full time events? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, full time full events. Time events. <laughs> full time, she does the events. <laughs> uh, off you go with your lovely story. Amanda! <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, me and my friend, we're just sort of mastering the tube system. Yes. And um, one night we were coming home and we got into the tube. And there were no seats, so we were, I don't know, a bit bummed. So we sort of stood there, and then we saw two people walk out. So we raced to the seats, and I noticed this guy was reading a newspaper earlier. So um, he was, like, pointing at it, like, put this newspaper. And I was like, oh, I'll be nice, you know, seeing as English people can sometimes be rude. So I picked up the... <laughs> I want that now. Do it now. the newspaper <laughs> to be a polite Kiwi. And I sort of threw it over to him. And everyone in the chair started screaming at the top of their lungs, and I was like, oh, no, like, was there a spider on it or something? Turns out someone had put the newspaper on a big pile of vomit, <laughs> and I just sprayed vomit all over this lovely lady. Down, off, 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 off. It's a nice lady, though. We like her. Nice. We like her. And listen, well done, everyone. If you'd like to join us on the show and have a go in a big break here, you can just contact us via our website at this very address. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what a lineup. Please thank my guests tonight. Share! <laughs> Journalist presenter Jeremy Paxman, actress Dame Judi Dench, and the one and only Sir 